Hey YouTube, just me Lee, coming back again. Uh, just figured I would uh, take you with me. I'm gonna jump in the Polaris Ranger here and head down to the excavator, get her started, um, check stuff, and I have finished cleaning up a little spot that I have down there by the woods, by my food plot. I'm gonna take some more trees out, so I gotta have a place to put stuff. Um, this has got quite a bit of snow here, so it's just as easy for me to take the excavator, get stuff cleaned up, and I'll need it to move logs around anyway. So yeah, I'll take you along as we go. There, the 19 Ranger here, anniversary edition. This thing's been awesome. Uh, I've had it three years now. Uh, been great, no issues. I'll do a uh, in-depth review on this someday. Today I'll just take you along with me um, as we head down to the excavator. Get a little view of the property, maybe while I'm headed down through. Um, so you know, those of you that may not know, I just uh, trying to do some videos here, stuff around the property. Um, there'll be some hunting, drone videos. Um, off-roading, I do snowmobiling, a lot of excavation stuff, heavy construction. Um, I do my own excavation business on the summer, all all summer, and I also my full-time job is uh, I manage a rock quarry in Burlington, Vermont. So I'm pretty busy during the summer, but I'm gonna try to do some filming this upcoming year, do a few videos for people, uh, maybe do some reviews, which I've been trying to do. Uh, you can see there's, we still got a good two, three feet of snow. Um, I had to clean this road out with the excavator yesterday. I had my tractor stuck down here. And yeah, I just, the tractor didn't like trying to come back up through all this. So even with pick chains, um, we got her cleaned up. It's a good enough road for me to do what I need to do. Um, we'll get down here and uh, try and get some of this cleaned up. It'll be hard for me to take you in the excavator while I'm working. Uh, I just don't have no mail. I, all I have is my iPhone 11 Pro I got for now. Um, looking to get a GoPro and obviously some editing software as we go here. But yeah, it uh, should be a good year. Um, I'll just be glad to move on, get into summer here, and start doing some excavation and all that other good stuff. Yeah. Pull over here and we'll get out over to the excavator here. Well, so this is a 2020 uh, Cat Next Gen 307.5. Um, I had the uh, 307 E2, it was a 17 model. Um, I had no issues with it. Um, I made some money with it. It was a good machine. Uh, I just, the new cabs on the next gen are just awesome. Uh, the blades are a little bit beefier in areas. Um, they've reinforced some stuff here. A lot thicker plates, even on the end here compared to the E2, it's just crazy different. Uh, the, the undercarriage is a little heavier. Um, there's more bracing right in there for the blade. It's just a rugged, rugged machine. Uh, I got the fuel tanks just right here now on the end used to be like a step up and but that's all right it's not the end of the world you got a nice step there and the undercarriage on this one now has steps on there to make it a uh, much easier for certain people i'm tall really don't bother me um i just got a little ribbon had a few family members here that had some breast cancer battles so we just keep some ribbons on it i got a few more coming for it um some stickers but yeah so here's the machine some of the inside um just lock that there so yeah, this machine's awesome uh everything is super open all the hoses are easy to get to filters right there um the valve banks here just all the way everything's laid out inside here radiators there air filter it's just all easy to get to ground level no crawling around um even you can look over across there behind the cab that panel comes off all the hoses are exposed um 
just a awesome machine to uh, work on. They went with a little bit smaller recessed panels here. The counterweight wraps right around here. You can see it's all counterweight. Um, so these things, these little doors are recessed in to kind of protect them. And if you do damage them, they're way smaller, cheaper to replace. Batteries right there, air filter, radiator. Um, here's my master switch. I'll get that turned on because I'm going to start it here in a minute. Um, I went with the long reach with the added counterweight. Um, I just think more weight the better on any machine. Um, there's the motor, coolant overflow. Um, just everything is so easy to get to on this machine. Oil filter right there. I mean, there's your oil fill, um, oil dipstick, pull that out. Uh, you might not be able to see it, but it's good. Um, there's only what, 45, 50 hours on the machine right now. Um, I got it when winter had started. So yeah, us in Vermont pretty well don't do excavation. Well, unless you're a big outfit that keeps people working, but us little guys just plow or do other things. I, like I said, I have my full-time job. I do welding, fabricating all winter long down at the quarry. So, um, yeah, it's just, everything's nice laid out washer fluids right there. Your regen, um, your filter burn offs right here. Super easy. If you should ever have to take it off, bring it somewhere, get it burned out, cleaned out. It's going to happen just the way it is. Um, you want a new machine, you're going to have to deal with either a burn off, a regen or def. Um, there's no def on this one. It's just got this burn off, which works for me. I'd rather stay away from the def. Um, there's a hydraulic pump, which is unreal what it'll do for its size. Um, just, yeah, a lot of room. This one comes, I got the block heater right here. If I have to plug it in, um, it's very cold here in Vermont. So, um, yeah, just the cab is wicked visibility. Um, awesome. Uh, and, um, this one has the uh, rubbers bolted on to the steel pads, which is nice for asphalt driveways or anywhere where you're gonna have to be, you know, real careful doing stuff. Um, and this blade, um, my 3072 didn't have it, but this one's got the uh, bolt-on edges, which is a nice thing. I mean, you can always weld on another edge on the other ones, but how nice to just unbolt an edge, put new ones on, move on, or to flip them. I think you can flip these at least once so that's a nice thing um just the machine's stout i mean you can tell it's stout compared to my 307 e2 i mean this machine's a lot heavier i'm pretty sure i think the weight i had the paper removing company and stuff i believe it was 19,000 pounds um that's a pretty good weight we're talking almost eight ton machine here um that's uh and i'd prefer the fixed boom um versus a swing boom. Some people have to have a swing. I understand that if you're working in cities and I don't need it. I work pretty much out here in the country clearing stuff. This is a ruggeder, less expensive to maintain setup, just the fixed boom, uh, less pins, bushings, stuff that's gonna wear out. Um, that works for me. Um, got the cat thumb, which is a little, be, a little to be desired, to be honest. Um, these things go way down. So if you're extending your reach all the way out and to go down to dig you're dragging them in it before you're even digging it's kind of messed up but i guess that's the biggest downfall i could find this one does have the hydraulic cat quick coupler um i had manual the last time i went all out on this one i wanted what i wanted on it um it's got the uh, edge protectors on the bucket so yeah we'll uh, jump into the cab here quick um Try not to take too long with these videos because it takes forever to get stuff done on an iPhone. Um, there you can see, still got my plastic on the seat. Um, the cab's just awesome. Everything's laid out fantastic. Your blade joysticks right there with um, travel speed, travel speed on the joystick. Just awesome layout. Um, easy in and out. You can see the visibility is just awesome out of this machine. Um, all the way around is crazy. Um, all right, let's give her a start up here. I'll let the glow plugs go for a minute here. It was almost zero last night, so. All right. 
you can see you have all your stuff here uh, your heat, your radio, it's on Bluetooth right now. Um, up here, I got it set for the tilt bucket. I could take that off, I ain't got it on right now. It just shows the Bluetooth. Um, I leave your pattern. Um, auto for your idle. So I got almost, not quite 40 hours on it, 39. Um, still brand new. Um, down here, you know, I got your camera. I